Hey everyone, I just finished revamping my PyCom.com file and the window effects are absolutely stunning. Now when I first checked out Hyperland and Wavefire, I was really impressed with the screen effects, but I had no idea just how powerful PyCom could be. While these effects may not exactly match Wayland's compositor exactly, they're pretty close and they work across any distro or window manager. But what's truly surprising to me is how so few people are actually talking about this. Channels like DistroTube, Brody, the Linux cast, who cover Linux desktops extensively, haven't really discussed the full potential of PyCom. It feels like it's almost like a well-kept secret. Given how many people have their critiques of Wayland based desktops, it's worth noting how quickly you can achieve a Wayland like look with just a few tweaks in PyCom. And not only can you replicate certain Wayland effects, but you can also do things like round the edges of your panels and applications. The level of customization here is just truly incredible. I think everyone understands why some users are frustrated with Wayland. It's certainly a work in progress. While I do appreciate some aspects of Hyperland, it's clear that more development is needed, especially when it comes to tiling window managers. The tiling experience just feels different compared to X-based systems. Leave me a comment, X or Wayland, what are you using? Now that said, I'm not here to bash Wayland. I do see a need for it to eventually take over the X ecosystem. X was designed back in 1984 as a cross-platform network transparent windowing system, which was groundbreaking at the time. The release of X11 in 1987 quickly made it the de facto standard for graphical user interfaces on Unix systems. However, as desktop computing demands grew, X started to show its age with issues like input lag, screen tearing, and a lack of proper security isolation between applications. This is where Wayland comes in. It was launched in 2008 as a potential replacement for X11. Wayland was designed with modern security in mind, offering a better isolation between applications by having them communicate directly with the compositor. Now, Wayland has made some significant strides, but it still relies on X Wayland to bridge the gap for legacy X applications. This creates a bit of a conundrum, honestly, as we're stuck between two systems that aren't entirely independent of each other. If you like my content, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Now, I get the intention behind Wayland, but there are two things that I want to mention. First, I'm genuinely concerned that the Wayland might end up repeating some of the same mistakes that X made because while the intent is good, the execution of Wayland development is telling a different story. There are many reasons for this, and not all of them are entirely the fault of the Wayland project. And I certainly don't want to make Wayland the whipping post for everyone to beat on. And second, even if that weren't the case, we're simply just not there yet with Wayland in terms of usability. So what do you think about this? Leave me a comment in the section below. I know a lot of people who are developing and using Wayland without too many inconveniences who will say that I got it all wrong and is absolutely ready. My response is, well, what's the point? Everything is getting pushed together probably even more erratically than X ever was. And I think the development should just slow down and concentrate on getting it right to begin with. And I don't think they are doing that for many reasons. In the meantime, I do think it's cool to explore Wayland based projects, but would I use them on my main system right now? No, not at this point. I've tried Wayfire, Hyperland, and Plasma 6. They all leave a lot to be desired, but I do think they're awesome projects that are going to eventually catch. Anyway, I do enjoy the window compositing features, and with PyCom, I've managed to achieve something similar. It's definitely worth checking out. 